Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm going to show you today to start this Saturday off right, just correct, is the feds caught behind a switch in a hard place. You guys, you cannot make this up. They are now issuing nationwide bulletin alerts about the idea that Glock switches and homemade machine guns are on the rise across the board. And they completely don't even mention the fact that it's against federal law, and it's obvious. Tell me gun control does not work without telling me gun control does not work. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And of course, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And my brothers and sisters, make sure that you check out the shirt that I am wearing. This is one of my favorite shirts. It's one of our highest selling shirts. Restraining the rights of the legal enhances the power of the criminal. What I'm about to show you is how the restraints upon the legal are enhancing the power of the criminal. This is such an important point. That's why we have the shirt. It's linked in the description box below. And please pick yourself up one if you feel that that is an adequate statement and you want to rock it and uh, rock what you believe. But let's get it. Check this out. A surge of illegal homemade machine guns has helped fuel gun violence in the U.S. Wait a minute. Homemade machine guns? That doesn't make any sense because that's against the National Firearms Act. That's against the NFA. That's, that's a that's a no-no. It, it shouldn't be happening because gun control, right? Well, communities around the U.S. have seen shootings carried out with weapons converted to fully automatics in recent years, fueled by a staggering increase in small pieces of metal or plastic made with a 3D printer or ordered online. Laws against machine guns date back to the bloody violence of Prohibition-era gangsters, but the proliferation of devices known by nicknames such as Glock switches, auto sears, and chips has allowed people to transform legal, semi-automatic weapons into even more dangerous guns, helping fuel gun violence, police and federal authorities say. Well, hold on a second, guys. I, I, I have questions, because if... That's what's fueling the gun violence, because it's the gun violence, not the criminal, right? It's the gun violence. If that's what's fueling the criminal, and the criminal has the gun that they're not supposed to have per federal law, then they get a Glock switch, which they also don't are not supposed to have because of federal law. Are you starting to pick up the theme here that the people who are the problem are the actual criminals, gangbangers, and all the people who are circumventing the law for a malintent not the legal everyday gun owners of which all the ATF and the uh, Biden administration's fury goes against. Doesn't say, they don't say a word about gangbangers and criminals and all the availability of these illegal conversion devices because that would make it not effective for gun control. So they've got to talk about something else until eventually the problem gets so bad that it's obvious even for the AP because that's where this is coming from. But let's continue. Quote, Police officers are facing down fully automatic weapon fire in amounts that haven't existed in this country since the days of Al Capone and the Tommy gun, said Steve Dettelbach. You know who he is, and it's a huge problem. The agency reported a 570% increase in the number of conversion devices collected by police departments between 2017 and 2021. Again, these are already federally illegal. The people who are doing these illegal conversions are the same people who cannot have the firearms legally. The, pro the, the main nexus of problem here is not the firearm, it's the person that is committing the crimes. The second that we start putting people in prison for committing crimes, they will not continue to be on the street to have more opportunity to do more crime. You will see the numbers go down. It's not about the availability of a Glock switch or the availability of a Glock or it's the gun's fault because he got up and walked around and robbed a liquor store. No, it is the criminal. This is not hard. But watching them try to dance between it's the gun's fault, but now they're doing you know, violations of the NFA, which is also a federal violation, but it's not... I mean, Guys... This So much egg is on their face, they can make a scrambled egg omelet. Good Lord. Let's continue. You're seeing them a lot in stunning numbers, particularly in street violence, said David Pacino, deputy chief counsel at Giffords Law Center. So gun controllers, the gun control Giffords Law Center is going out and saying, well, you're seeing them a lot, particularly in... Uh, street violence or street what's it say oh yeah street violence street violence would imply back and forth gang criminal activity it would not imply anybody who has a gun to protect themselves 
the people and the onus of this should be on the criminals who are in this world. And even the political elite on the Democrat say, side say they know it's a small minority of people, but they just aren't willing to do it. So why not just attack guns of everybody, for the, which is a constitutional right? Guys, it is just, it's gross. While the devices are considered illegal machine guns under federal law, duh, many states don't have their own specific laws against them. So here's the... Here's the thing that just kills me on this. You've got a federal law that is already on the books for 100 years. Police officers can't connect with the feds and say, hey, this is a federal law that's been violated, so now they need their own state level. Do you understand how ineffectually stupid that sounds? Well, we've got a federal law, and it carries a very hefty fine and a 10-year prison sentence, but we don't really get to uh, do much with those, so states, can you jump in here and make your own as well? Criminals are still going to criminal. God, guys, this is, it, it's so, oh, it kills me. But then they actually slipped up and said that uh, said something that I'm pretty sure they're not allowed to say at the end of this article. That's why I left it towards the end of this one. They're also increasingly a fixture online. In social media and rap lyrics, Davis said, everyone is talking about switches. He said, it's a scary trend. I'm pretty sure you can't say it's in rap lyrics because that would be, that'd be very, very bad be horrible. That would be implying that it's against a certain demographic of people, which is wrong. It's not about the individual. It's not about, or excuse me, it's not about the group of people. It's about the individual. I don't care if you're purple, black, green, white, whatever. If you're a criminal, you are a criminal. You should face the consequences of being a criminal, not let them out on their own recognizance because you don't have enough space in your jails. That is just idiotic. But that's a conversation for another time. Let me know what you guys think in the conversation of the uh, video, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.